what's up y'all i'm sitting crisscross applesauce on my bed oh, i feel like i should wear a hat for this oh, i like the hat <laughs> really fun to just kind of do a video on how I edit my photos mainly for Instagram because I really enjoy editing and just playing around with a lot of my photos so the photos that I'm gonna be doing today I literally just took them like 30 minutes ago but I actually took them on my camera I usually would just take my phone and just kind of set it on the three minute timer and put it on portrait mode so I basically realized that I said a three minute timer <laughs> Can you imagine standing there for three minutes for a fucking timer? Just the mental image of a person standing there for three minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Bye. And then just like take a bunch of photos that way. So I'm excited to just show you guys exactly what it is. I'm going to move to the side. So I'm just going to screen record this whole process and show you guys everything and put it right here next to me and kind of walk you guys through what my favorite editing apps are and how I like to edit my photos. And I'm going to show you guys some examples of photos that I've posted recently since quarantine right here. Mm, mm. Do, 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 do. Oh, I feel like I should wear a hat for this. Ooh, yes. So I'm just gonna be extra AF. Oh, I like the hat. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my phone. So all I did so far was just transfer all of the photos from my camera over to my phone. If I take like a hundred photos, at least one of them's gonna be cute, right? Or at least you'd hope. I will go through and look at all of the photos and then I will favorite the ones that I like. I do like a couple rounds. So what I do is I kind of, for the first round, I just swipe through really fast and if I like it, I'll favorite it. Are my bangs like even attached? So I'm just gonna keep going through. I'm actually not mad at a lot of these. It just took a second for me to really get an idea as to what's happening. Okay, so now that I've like gone through and picked my favorites, I usually go now to the favorites folder. So like each of my wigs have a different name and like an alter ego. And this one is Blondie, but there's an umlaut over the O to add a little pizzazz. So what I like to do now is then I go to the favorites folder and I just kind of look at everything in the grid. And if I notice any poses that look like that's being repeated a lot, then I go through and pick the favorites out of that pose. And I'm gonna have to crop my phone out in some of these for sure. I like to have variety, so like different facial expressions, which I didn't really do much of here. Okay, so I'm a little indecisive. Now that I have my photos that I like, what I do is, so not every time I will do this step, but for the sake of this video, I will. So if my skin is like particularly bad in a photo, I like to go on Facetune too. I just literally use the smooth out tool and the whitening tool. Those are the only tools that I ever play in. I have been playing more in the neon, um, the neon setting. I've noticed that they have, I don't know if that's a new thing, but I like playing in there because you can change the lighting on you a little bit. This one, I'm going to go, I'll do it on this photo. I usually go to retouch and then since I'm not smoothing it out in this photo, but I usually like to whiten my teeth and my eyes. So just to make them look a little bit brighter. So I'm going to go in with the whitening tool and I'm going to just brighten my eyes a little bit. And honestly, like people may not even notice this, but it's just something that like I like to do. I think it just adds like that smidge of a difference to me I think so I like to just brighten my eyes a little bit definitely for like my teeth if I'm smiling really hard in a photo and you can see all my teeth I do like to go in also with I'm gonna play in the neon settings and see if I like any of them it really just adjusts the light on you let's try the random I kind of like the yellow lighting a little bit because it just makes the blonde look a little blonder it's like super subtle but i just i find that it just makes my face look a little brighter 
there's a lot more color in this. I'm like talking to my phone, but like you guys are right there. So like on my right side and my left side, I have the yellow light, which I kind of like. It just adds a little bit more, it's a little bit more to the photo. And I think it'll look good later once I add filters on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save. So what I'm gonna do now is go through and do this to all of the photos. And like honestly to me like this whole process is just really fun and like therapeutic so I just like to do it. What else am I doing? I'm stuck at home so might as well. What I do next is go to color story and this is honestly just like one of my favorite apps ever for filters. So I'm going to go into color story and I'm going to hit new and I have my recents folder. So I'm just going to go down the list all based off all the ones that I edited. So let's go from this one. Okay. So this is where it, I just have fun with it. Like there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Like I just, I go in and I literally just play with all the filters and yeah, let's see how it turns out. So the two packs that I really like are Lost Stories and Mood. Mood is hands down the one that I use all the time because it has that dark effect. I like my photos to be a little bit darker. My rule of thumb is I pick what I want to accentuate. So like whatever it is, whatever the color of it is, I accentuate it. So for this, it'll most likely just be my outfit and like the plants behind me. There's a lot of green in this photo. So then I just keep going like honestly I'll just add like a little bit of like one filter like I'll layer like hella filters on top of one photo just I really just go based on you know like I don't think about it too much I just kind of go through and see what calls out to me. My n top one in the mood pack is Topanga. My dog is snoring so much. So right now I have like 50% Udo, 20% Emo emo um so yeah i have literally one two three four five filters on there just like a little bit of each to get the desired look that i'm going for but i'm not done yet um so after i put on my filters i go to effects and i bought the the texture pack and in there it just kind of adds that little bit of texture on there so it looks like it's it was taken on an old like camera i like that film effect even though clearly it's not film so I'm just gonna go through and see which one looks good. Wow, he's snoring so loud. I go to adjust. Sometimes I'll add the chromatic effect, but I just don't find it necessary for this look. So I'm gonna go in and just add some grain. I like grain on my photos. Not too much, but I'm going to add a little bit. Yo, can you stop storing so loud? Thank you. I love him, but jeez. Okay, so I'm going to add a teeny, teeny vignette. Just It just makes the edges not look so harsh. So I am happy with this final look. So what I do here is to save myself time, I only do this to one photo. Then I press this little button over here in the right corner, and then I click save custom preset so since this is blondie i'm gonna save it under that name so i'm gonna save it and then i'm gonna save this photo and then now so that honestly at that point the hard part is done so all i do now is i go back and i backtrack and i add that preset to all of the photos that i just edited so when i open up the new photo I just click open, saved, and then use that one, and boom, it's already on there. Like, it just saves you a lot of time. You don't have to do any more. So just the first photo is going to take you the longest. My wrist is popping every time I move my hand. Like, if that doesn't say anything about my age, I don't know what does. Perfect. So now that I have them all saved, now's the fun part. Now I just simply go to 
my Instagram and I put it up, get them ready to be posted. I'm not gonna, um, by the time you see this video, obviously it's gonna be posted. You should totally follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely link that right here. But yeah, by the time this is up, this photo set will be already on my Instagram. So yeah, that's just how I edit all of my Instagram photos. And I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and like the photos that you just saw me sit here sweating over editing them. Check out these apps. They're amazing. I love them. I advocate for them and they don't even sponsor me. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay awesome. Please stay safe out there and get creative. Do something creative every single day. Get those mind juices flowing, guys. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.